Bro, okay, I'm not gonna lie though, since this was based off an old television series, there was an old man having the time of his life. I'm just happy for him. Fantasy Island tells the story of a group of people who win a prize to Fantasy Island, a dream vacation where they're promised that on this island they'll get one fantasy, no matter how crazy or wild it may be, only to realize that their fantasies come with a sinister price. That's all pretty much it without giving any spoilers to you guys. This is a spoiler free review. If you want to check out my spoiler review and why this movie made me groan. You can check it out on the podcast channel. I'll be filming that later. But getting straight into this, I'm not even going to waste much time with this review. It's a bad movie. It is one of those laughably, oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually witnessing movies. And I'm so disappointed with that. I shouldn't have been surprised. This is directed by Jeff Wadlow. No offense to him, but I mean, he also made the movie Truth or Dare. That movie also was pretty disappointing, given the premise that the movie was allowed to play with. This same thing here, you're given the premise of having a group of people go to an island, experience their wild fantasies, and of course it having a sinister twist. But this movie stretches that idea so far and is almost messing with the audience. I really hate to say it, but there are no likable characters at all in this movie. Every single one of them come off so one-dimensional, so annoying, each have a characteristic involved with them that it's like... No person in real life behaves this way. Why are you behaving this way? And I hate saying that about good old Michael Pena because he was the main thing I was looking forward to. I love Michael Pena. But man, coming from a role that was very iconic, he plays it so bland and has no emotion almost whatsoever in playing the caretaker for the island. It's also a PG-13 horror movie and I'm one of the first people to say PG-13 horror movies can work. But in this instance, if you're gonna go ahead and turn a television property into a horror movie, go the full measure. Don't half measure it. And that's what this movie really feels like. It feels like they were barely putting their foot on the pedal of what this movie could have been. Even more upsetting, being a horror movie, they break their own rules that they establish. Rules in a horror movie, especially if you establish them in the beginning of your film, are important, are vital. It's what holds your film together. But the film decides that having double, heck, maybe even a triple twist is more important than keeping intact with the rules. This movie has so many Many twists that by the end it is just so convoluted messy not really coherent and it's also one of those twists that when it's like oh that's kind of cool but that's what was really going on none of the other beginning of the movie makes absolutely any sense i joked earlier how there was an old man so happy with the movie and that's because surprisingly there's actually a lot of easter eggs for fans of fantasy island me myself just hearing the pop culture references with the tv show i understood some things like obviously the catchphrase the plane the plane and other things attached to the show so i was like oh, okay there's a little bit of fan service here there's one mind-blowing easter egg that i can't believe the movie thought they were being clever with when it's really just just so laughably bad. Another great actor that showed up in this movie that I wasn't expecting was Michael Roker and I was like oh cool he's gonna be involved okay looks like he's going rogue on this island what is he doing and his character by the end of the movie makes absolutely no sense why he's there it really doesn't add anything to the plot and was just kind of there to confuse the audience from the twist they were trying to pull off and that just makes me so upset that you have Michael Pena, Michael Roker and you wasted them. Why are you wasting the Michael power in this movie? And the last biggest gripe with this film it is way too long okay it is clocking in almost at two hours long at an hour and 50 minutes this movie really should have stopped about the hour and 20 minute mark it really drags on and it is so predictable where it's gonna end up and how it'll finish but the movie decides to just keep going and going and going and going thinking that you're enjoying every minute when you're just like I want to go home. For Fantasy Island, I'm going to give action two stars. There is some running away. There are some gunfights, but it's nothing mind-blowing, and it's very minimal action at best. Coming in the movie, I'm going to give it two stars. It is mostly funny in the way that you're just laughing at how serious this movie is trying to be, but it just comes off so goofy. Other than that, the actual jokes implemented into the movie... I don't think we'll really get you chuckling all that much. Drama in the movie, I'm gonna give it two stars too. They try to convolute this thing so heavily. They add a bunch of twists in there and they think they're blowing your mind by the end when really you're just like, 
you're just messing with me at this point movie horror in the film i'm gonna give it one star too is really not much to be afraid of in this horror pg-13 movie there are hints to greatness in this film of what they could have done with some psychological torture but really they messed all that up and suspense in the film i'm gonna give it one star too you're not really in suspense the twists they throw around really just feel random and don't add to your suspense when watching this movie casual fans i'm gonna give it a c plus cinephiles i'm going to give it an f and critically i'm going to give it an f for fantasy island I recommend you make it your fantasy to avoid this movie. I really hate being so harsh on the film, guys, but if you sat down and watched this thing, you would just be so disappointed with it. Uh, let's hope in Blumhouse steps it up a little bit. I'm not against turning regular properties into horror movies. I think that's a great idea, but it just doesn't feel like they're given the love they deserve. Let me know what you thought of Fantasy Island if you got around to seeing it, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.